What's going on everybody, Josh here with Scrapyard Films and today I got another Vegas Pro 17 tutorial for you. In this one I'm going to be showing you how to hack Vegas so you can render different types of alpha channels at really low file sizes that Vegas doesn't normally allow. This is a little bit of a process, but as a perk for patrons or supporters, I wrote a script that can easily do it for you. All you gotta do is right click it and run it as administrator and it'll do all of it. And then the next time you load up Vegas, you'll have the ability to render in different alpha codecs at extremely low file sizes. So if you wanna learn more about supporting the channel, becoming a patron, you can do so in the description below or it's patreon.support. So let's go ahead and jump into Vegas 17. Okay, so we have Vegas 17 loaded right here. I'm just gonna drag one of these media generator clips onto the timeline to generate a video clip. And then we're going to go to the render settings if we go up to file and then go down to render as we're going to want to find video for windows on the left hand side which is your avi format and then we're just going to choose one of these i already have some presets right here but we're just going to choose hd 1080 24p and we're going to go to customize template and from here down at the bottom you see where it says render alpha channel it's grayed out and you can't select it now if you select any one of these codecs like magic yuv lossless it's still going to be grayed out if you choose, you know, TechSmith, any of these ones, it's still grayed out. Now, these are codecs that allow alpha channels, but for some reason, Vegas is not. We do Grass Valley, we go over here, you see it's grayed out. We're going to want to hack Vegas to make that not grayed out. So I'm going to cancel this, I'm going to close this, and then I'm going to close Vegas. Now, in order to change the values of the file we need, you need to download a hexadecimal editor. HDX is a free one that I like and use, so I'll link that in the description below. Once you have it installed, we're going to go to File, Open, and then we're going to navigate to this right here, this file path, which is C, Program Files, Vegas, Vegas Pro, 17, File I.O. Plugin, AVI Plug. Now, depending on which version of Vegas you have, the only thing that's going to be different is this number right here. If you have Vegas 16 installed, you can just replace this with a 6, and then bam, now we're in the directory we need to be. If you have other versions of Vegas installed, like 15 or 14, then you can just replace those right there. But I'm going to show you this in specifically version 17. So I'm going to click 17 and hit enter. That takes me to this folder with the AVI plugin here. Now you can't edit this plugin right here in this folder. So you have to right click and copy this and then paste it in another folder location. One in a folder called backups, you'll always have the original file to fall back on. And then another one in a different folder that's right next to the backup folder, the one that you can modify. Once you've done that, navigate to the folder where you have your copy and your backup and we're gonna select this one that we're gonna modify, double click it. So when you open up the file, you're gonna see a lot of hexadecimal code that doesn't make any sense to the average person. But we're just gonna search for a giant string of numbers so we can filter it down to the exact spot we need and know the spot to change. So I'm gonna hit Control F on my keyboard and that's gonna load up Find. We're gonna go over to Hex Values and I'm gonna put this in the description, but you wanna copy and paste this long string, Control C and Control V into here, this extremely long string of characters. And if you just hit OK, it finds that long string of characters. That's in every single AVI plug.dll that Vegas installs. From here, we're gonna look for the characters 750A, and here they are, 750A. We're gonna change both of those. So if you put your cursor to the beginning of 75, you can just start typing and that's gonna overwrite it. So we're gonna replace 75 with 90, and we're gonna replace 0A with 90. So if done correctly, it'll be 349090C7. Once you're done, Control S saves it, and now we have a modified file. We can close this, and we can close our editor, and next you're gonna to wanna to copy your modified DLL and paste it in your installation folder. So here's our original one that's good and pristine. It's the original one that came with the install. So what you can do is slowly double click it, and that allows you to rename it. Put your cursor at the end and put .old. Hit OK, and now we have successfully saved this file from being modified. Now we take our modified AVI plug, copy it, control C, paste it in here, control V. Then our modified AVI plug is here. And that's it. So now let's load up Vegas 17. Once Vegas is loaded up, I'm gonna go to color gradient and just drop any one of these on here to create a video track. Close this, go up to file, and go down to render as, go down to video for windows, which is my AVIs, and then choose any one of these, it doesn't matter. We're gonna do 1080, 24P, hit customize template, and all of a sudden, even on this basic first one, Sony YUV codec, render alpha channel is checkable. We can check this to render an alpha channel. And that goes for all the other codecs that allow alpha channel rendering, which I have a few extra ones installed, like TechSmith screen codec, and then we have Grass Valley HQX, Magic YUV lossless. All these allow alpha channel rendering, and Vegas normally didn't let you, but making this registry hack allows it to happen. 
And then using this new way of rendering with alpha channels, you can make lower thirds and things that have invisible background for super low file size. Like this seven second video with an alpha channel is only 3.4 megabytes. And then my transition right here, it's only one second long, but it contains a lot of information. It's only 8.69 megabytes. You'll be able to render alpha channel things with extremely high quality video for extremely low file size. And there you go. You now know how to hack Vegas so you can render in different types of alpha codecs. So this is gonna really help for lower thirds and any kind of awesome little things you need transparent backgrounds for. If this video helped you out, be sure to shoot a like and subscribe down there because that'll really help me out. And thank you again for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. And I wanna give a special shout out to all of my super subscribers up there at the top. Be sure to check out their channels for some awesome content.